Hello everyone! Hey guys! And welcome to an Easter ostrich egg packed episode of, of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And this is going to be a fun silly episode. So there's going to yes. be I, a warning. There's going to be a lot of wasted paint. But let me tell you before we get to the table that it's all leftover paint. And it's yes, all it mixed is. very heavily with Floetrol. We have chosen not to put canvases underneath these eggs. Yes. Because when we do these eggs and you put canvases underneath, the canvases never come out looking good. Yeah. So actually, it really just wastes the canvas rather than wasting the paint. Yeah. But we're going to collect every single runoff and we're going to use it yeah. as flow extender. That's flow extender. So Nothing is wasted. Please, please, please know that our intention here is not to throw away or be wasteful. It's just to create some really fun pores. Exactly. Now, these ostrich eggs we've done before many yes. times. But um, I'm excited to see what you do on this one because you've got a different idea. I have a different idea about what, what to do. Yeah. Oh, I love what you're planning. Let's see if it translates into a beautiful egg. Hey, let's. I'm ready to try it. I'm ready to try it too. And I'm going to do a similar technique but using very different colors than I've ever used on an egg before. Yeah. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We love that you guys are sharing all this content to your social medias because we see you. We know who it is, so thank you very much. And um, let's get to the table. Let's get to the table. Happy Easter, everyone. Let's do this. Hey, guys. It is Jeremy here, and I'm super excited about this today's pour. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Listen, it wouldn't be Easter if we didn't have ostrich eggs. I know. We have these beautiful ostrich eggs here right. that we're going to be pouring over. Um, I love doing this. This is one of my favorite times of the year. Well, I think so. we've done this maybe three times now. Yeah. And if I may indulge, I actually did this on the Meaty Maker Showdown. You did? Yeah, this was my spring. I did an ostrich egg too. Um, for anyone out there, these can be bought on Amazon. Yes. And I'll have a link in the description box for you. Yes. Hmm. So the colors that I'm using today are, of course, going to be Easter inspired. Okay. Um, I have this incredible pearl pistachio. Say that one again, big boy. What have you got? Pearl pistachio. Got it. Um, I have this blue green by Amsterdam. Love it. I have magenta. That's primary magenta. I think primary also magenta. the Amsterdam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I have this pearl glacier blue. By Arteza. By Arteza. I have this is like a Kelly Green. I think this is by Amsterdam. It is. It's called... It's not Kelly Stowell Green. It's not Kelly Stowell Green. It is not. It is Permanent Green Light. Permanent Green Light. <laughs> and then, of course, I have this beautiful purple. This is... Uh, Dioxazine. Dioxazine mm -hmm. purple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I would say that they are Easter inspired, but it's not like a, it's like, like a, like a traditional Easter no. uh, color palette. So I like no. it. I yeah. think there's some really fun colors there. Um, I'm also using some, what is this glitter called? This is the, you got the box this is the there. Let's Resin Glitter Powder, 15 different colors. Right. And this is like, uh, this holographic kind hollow of hollow glitter hollow glitter yeah. which is really cool yeah. it is cool it, we bought that because we were going to make kind of bookmarks with the kids with resin yeah and uh, and we you said i want glitter <laughs> so i was like oh I have i'm gonna glitter. blow glitter and sprinkle glitter right. all over this egg when i'm done how's your arm show pony my arm is okay um i can't lift anything with it right. it still hurts but i see uh, you like genuflecting all over the place and... yeah i can still move it okay like good. it's i'm getting movement back in it and stuff right. but i just have to be super careful then please do yes the good thing about this ostrich egg it is it's a top a yes. lazy deborah yes it is see yeah, turn it this is so much fun you guys i'm having so much fun and with how have you got it propped up i see a funnel there i think yes it is propped up on a funnel because right. uh, there's a hole in the bottom of the egg so right. i just put it literally right on top of uh, a funnel okay. upside down and I apologize for any of the noise in the background. I have a day job, which means that we always film at the weekend. Yeah. Always. And weekends are the days everyone does their lawns. So <laughs> as if by magic, the minute that we open the garage door, someone does their lawn next as to us. As soon somewhere. as we open the garage door to film. Um, all right. So why don't I go ahead and get started? Yeah, I'm excited to see what you're going to do here. Oh, me too. I don't know. I'm like, what colors should I start <laughs> with? You've got so many. <laughs> All right, here we go. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this like lovely green. The Kelly Green. The Kelly Green. Now I'm just going to pour this kind of in ribbons around it. Oh, um, okay. Let's see here. I want to pour this away. I know okay. I'm using my right hand, but. So in the past we've done like ring pours. We've done 
like all sorts of things. You're, you're kind of using the colors in a drip painting fashion. Yes, I see. I am. And I'm guessing you're going to layer and layer and layer, like color on color I on color. I am going to layer and layer and layer and color and color and color. Okay. Just like I said. I'm psychic. Why did you decide to do it this way and just like pouring the colors on top? Um, because I think I thought it would look really interesting doing it this way. Yeah, I do too. I, we haven't done it this way. No. So I am genuinely excited that you're kind of doing something a little different. Yeah. So these eggs, they're real ostrich eggs. They the, are. The reason why there's a hole in the bottom is because the, the yolk and everything has been kind of blown out of it or poured out of it, I should say. They are $25 on Amazon and they come kind of like pretty much next day delivery. So if anyone wants to get these in time for Easter, there is still time. It's Tuesday today for you guys and uh, Easter's this coming weekend. Yes. I think I need a little bit more purple, and I think I'm gonna put that right here. You need more purple in your cup, or, or you, you just need more purple on your egg? No, I just need more purple on my okay. egg. I don't have a lot of this blue. I like so that blue. The blue. That blue on the egg is really cool. So these paints are mixed fairly thick, people at home. The they reason are. being that whenever you pour over an object that is not flat, there's one thing that you've got to take into consideration, and that is gravity. Yes. Um, as this sits and as it dries, the colors are just going to be pulled down the egg. Um, so the thicker the paint, the less chance that you've got of this just turning exactly. out into one like watered down color. Exactly. So these definitely are mixed thicker than normal. This would probably be the same as our ring pour consistency. In fact, all these colors are leftover paints and we didn't add anything to them. So it is literally just ring pour consistency. Our everything else pouring consistency. Now I see you're taking a little bit of extra care there just to make sure that the whole egg is covered. Yes. Because it, yes. it's also a funny shape because it kind of, you know, it's conical is the word? No, not conical, maybe. It, it kind of goes back in again at the bottom. Yes. So um, yeah, you, I see you making sure that everything is covered. I am, I'm adding like, I'm trying to add like a little bit more color so it'll drip down in the right places. I almost got all of this covered. Now I'm just kind of going and adding, touching up the bottom here. 
before I start to play. To play. I think it's perfect. I think it's cute. I think it's totally cute. Yeah? Yes. Next. Next is this opaque, not opaque, uh, like iridescent Hello. holographic glitter. That's what I'm thinking of. Well, how are you gonna apply it? I'm gonna sprinkle, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit like All right, guys. So I'm gonna like try to clean up my edges at the bottom. Uh -huh. I got my all my holographic glitter on there. It's so cute. Alright ladles and jelly spoons, I got my ostrich egg right here in front of me too. Well done show pony. Thank you. It was stunning. It was like it was like looking into Easter itself, staring into the soul of an Easter bunny. Um, I love the hollow glitter. I, it just made me happy, it made me smile and Thank I like you. it a lot. I loved it. I loved it too. Um, I'm not doing that, however. Um, <laughs> when I did my black and gold painting for you just at the weekend, I kind of realized that I wanted to use those same colors on this egg and produce a wonderful golden deliciousness. Some golden deliciousness, just like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yes. Who was it? Veronica? Veronica Salt. Exactly. She wanted a, a gold. A Veruca Salt. Veruca Salt. That's it. She wanted a golden goose egg. Well, I'm going to give you a golden-ish ostrich egg. So I'm going to use my drips that we took off the table that are the metallic black with a lot yeah. of other colors in it. Uh -huh. That was our leftover drips, which we scraped from this table. This is the brass that I made myself, and this was a concoction of some really lovely colors. It was some of the warm gold. This was the Pebeo iridescent precious gold. And then there is some copper in here too. This is 24 Carat by DecoArt, and this is Champagne by DecoArt. Yes, it is. And then I've also got some Pearl White. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six little cups around my little egg. And as I spin this thing, I'm going to dirty pour these six little cups. 
because I'm going to just do some like wonderful kind of rings on the top. Again, kind of some ribbons. Just play around with whatever's going to be coming out of these little cups. And I'm going to do six of them just because then I've got some choices and I can kind of play around with them and do some stuff. So I'm going to dirty pour some of the colours. I know I'm going to get some cells because this is 24 karat gold. And it's got a cell galore. And then I'm going to take some of my wonderful kind of champagne gold, which is another great deco art colour. It's like, it's almost like a tarnished gold colour. It's like a dirty gold, right, Chopony? Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of that espresso, honestly. Huh, it does, but maybe not quite. Not, not quite. Quite to brown. brown. Right. I love that. Yeah, you're right. You're totally right. And then some of my brass, which was my custom colour. So there's a lot of golds in here. But I am going to go back in with a shot of the white and then a shot of the black if I can get it in this pot. Now there's a lot of colours, so there's a lot of volume of paint in here. I might not need it all, but I've got it mixed anyway just in case. These are all leftovers from my previous pour, so you know, I'm just going to play around with these cups on this egg and see what happens. These are only kind of three ounce shot glasses, so or paper shot cups. And then in with some of the black piercing all the colours that are in there. Well, you're going to have more than enough paint. I absolutely am. But you know what? What's the motto? What? More is more? Exactly that. <laughs> exactly that. All right. So now I'm going to just play. Um, I'm going to see how these colours come out of these cups. And um, I'm going to just play with the composition as it comes out on the egg. Yeah. Yeah? So let's get to it. And it's just very black again now in, no, in it's places. Not. Look at all the, it's baby, that is stunning. I know, but I like that. I like that it has a little bit of that negative space. Pour a little bit more on that, that, I little, can. that black spot. Yeah. Just go back and forth like this. Outside of nowhere, a 
stormy rain try to wash away the dream Yeah, that's stunning. That's really stunning. Do you like it? I did. I think it's cute. I mean, it's like I could just keep going, putting more and more color on it, you know? I just didn't want it just to all be black. That's my concern. And well, like also that. you get all the cells that are popping yeah. up now through the black. So yeah, this is really cute. I can see all the cells popping up through the black is because all the colors have all been uh -huh. layered on top of each other. So I might be really gentle and just take a really quick torch to it. But I, actually, I, in fact, I can see, I don't even need to do that because it's selling as we speak. So you're all gonna be sitting there thinking, what a waste of paint, that was so much paint. Every single one of those colors was leftovers. Oh yeah. There was no paint that we mixed here for this pour. But I was just playing and was seeing how the colors were all coming out as I was layering it. But I love this. This is kind of like what I was hoping for. Some big gold cells in the black. Yeah. And then the streaks of like the other different colors of gold on here too. That's stunning. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. Yeah. All right, guys, um, I'm going to just make sure that the whole egg is covered because I'm fairly confident that she is. And then we're going to put this to one side and um, I'll see if I can take you in for somewhat of a close up. Nice. It's Easter week, show pony, and there, there you have, have it. it. Um, all right, so talk to me about your Easter egg. I really liked how it came out. I liked like all the different colors that coming down on it. Um, I liked the little glitter that I put on it. I thought it was really cute. You went into this knowing you were gonna glitterify it. I did. Bedazzle it. I did. With that hologram glitter. Yeah. Listen, you know, I love it. It's, it was so bright and shiny and fun to look at. It just made me smile every time it turned on that little, like, you know, the little lazy Deborah. I thought it was cute. I really liked it too. And I really, really loved how you put the thick bands of color. Yeah. I think we need to do that again. I think so too. Loved it. Um, I loved my little gold egg. Yours came out beautiful. Thank you, show pony. Uh, yeah, it came out really pretty, in fact, as it's sitting and yeah. drying. It's gotten more gold, less black, and all the colors are all shining through. Mm. So I'm definitely going to spray varnish this one and then I'll show it you in another episode, probably yeah. at some point towards the end of the week, maybe in pouring the tea. Yeah. And um, we'll get to show you these because they are just drying as we speak. But yeah, really loved this. It's Easter week, everyone. Please, please have a great Easter, Good Friday, Easter Sunday, Easter Monday, whatever you're celebrating, however you're celebrating, please have a great weekend. Absolutely. And we will be here on Friday for our pouring the tea with Massey, completing our fluid art experience lineup with two more artists yep six of us in total guys these two are huge so please 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 come back and see us then yeah have a great tuesday thank you for being here with us in the chat we appreciate you all and uh, hopefully we'll get to see you on friday absolutely see you on all right, friday. guys have a great week everyone bye guys bye and now to spank the Patreons. Yes, let's spank the Patreons. Let's do it. Who are the Patreons? Well, the Massey Posse, we like to call <laughs> them, are a group of people that have signed up to patreon.com. And on our Patreonage, you have the opportunity to get 
levels and perks for different things. Yes. So at one level, you might get a sneak peek behind the scenes video or some footage. At another level, you'll be invited to monthly off the YouTube channel live streams. And at a separate level, you might also get once a month tutorials. Yes. So it's a really fun opportunity for people just to have a completely different view of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. So we have some people to thank. Yes. At our gold level, we have Elizabeth Galano, Gillian Kennedy, we have Gloria Salaki and Jane Klein, we have Janice Swansea and Kelly Stowell, we have Kirsten Blackley, we have Linda Seriani, we have Mary Doulas or Mama Doulas, Mama Doulas, Patsy Petrelli and Rebecca Hawes Winters, we have Sharon Luffy and Stephanie Hancock, we've got Tammy Housebrook, we've got Terry Leshner and we've got Trisha West. Yes. Then in our platinum level, we have Elaine Burton, Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve. We have Susan Chigori and Susan Shepherson. Susan Shepherson. Yes. And at our diamond level, the one diamond you level. all know and love, yes. it's Sparkles. Sparkles. So thank you so very much to those guys and everyone else that's here down below, our bronze and silver Patreons too. We really yeah. appreciate you. We really appreciate you wanting to be here with us and support us through this wonderful journey of art. Honestly, we really can't thank you enough, so thank you so very much.